terms of getting everybody out there to play, we tried to rest some man. We thought it was good on the first and second team. I think we only played about a quarter. We uh, got a chance with a lot of young guys. Didn't do a whole lot. It was a good mental week for us where they could relax a little bit. The starters and practice the backup quite a bit. We tried to get as much back in the, in the, the guys that's going to play most of the time next week as we could. We could physically and mentally drain. But it was a good effort. To, you know, both sides, we didn't uh, Gave up some yards on the defense. We gave up a lot of short passes. We didn't do anything special. We played mostly back to base defense most of the time. But uh, again, that's, that's what these games are about. Tennessee Tech came in obviously overmanned, and uh, they came in and played played hard. They had a good game plan, and they did some things that gave us some problems, a little bit of problems on defense. But, but uh, again, we were able to keep them out of the end zone and and, uh, and get, get the not the shutout of zero, but at least they only got three points. All right. Thank you. Oh, you have a turn. Is that yours? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I thought you were chortled. That was yours or Phillip. <laughs> <laughs> All right, questions. How would you assess the play field play? I thought he did pretty good. You know, the first time we played in the Wally, he uh, got a little antsy in the pocket. We wanted to control with him some. And, you know, we only playing two running backs. We, uh, you know, we normally would have run the ball with him for the second half. We threw the ball, tried to get it to our wide receivers, and didn't do, any, didn't do, any, do anything uh, spectacular in terms of formations. We just ran base plays and, and uh, didn't check off a whole lot. Didn't give ourselves a chance a few times to throw the ball because of what they were in. We could have done something a little bit different. But it was, uh, it was good to get him in the game. And he'll call. Got a series. And uh, Cody struggled a little bit throwing the ball, a little bit nervous. And that's, uh, that's what we expected. I thought the second offensive line did a pretty good job. Had a couple of holding calls, but uh, overall it was, uh, it was it was good. It was good to get them all in there. It's good for practice. You know these guys bust their tail all year long. Never get to see the field. And games like this you need to need to keep busy and have a little bit of fun. Guys have smiles on their faces. It's been a long ten weeks in terms of first nine games. We're we're on our, on our heels most of the time, just trying to finish and uh, get a win. So that's that's again you know, that's what you're thinking all about. Yeah, he, he just looked off balance, and throwing off balance. We threw a little bit more with him today. It was, uh, you could tell he was, he was a little nervous, but again, that, that's, uh, that's what he expected. He, he, uh, he uh, you know, been struggling a while throwing the ball, and, and uh, you know, we're asked to do more and more mental stuff because it, with that, it affects everything you have to do. He runs a lot more on the offense than the other group. We probably could run the first four plays and probably look a lot better, but uh, we were trying to see how much he can handle. You ever played four quarterback in the game before? I can't say that I have. But that, that, again, that's uh, it's good to see all of you out there. We'd like to play Fran a little bit more, but you know, we got up some quick, we'll get them all in there. Thoughts on uh, Walker Patton's touchdown there? Yeah, it wasn't a very good dance, but it was a good interception. Walt's getting better. He, you know, he's got a lot of speed, as he showed. And, uh, he's played quite a bit this year. Breaks on the ball well. He's a smart player. He could be a starter next year for us. You know, it's good to see him get a little confidence. Can you talk about Robert Dunn? Just what his coming back and what he's done? Yeah, you know, he dropped a pass or two after on third down. But just, you know, he needs to, needs to catch the next couple of games to play. But, uh, you know, our receivers still are not as consistent as we want to be. I think lost their concentration. Got a little sloppy. But Robert, uh, you know, he's, he's overcome his, his problem, hopefully. I think he's woke up a little bit. He's a big deal for us as one returns. That's going to be uh, another thing that we'll need to beat out again for the next, next couple of games. Coach, at this point at all in the running game, and your kick uh, coverage unit? Coverage wasn't very good, was it? Anything? Yeah, I didn't think it was all that good. But, you know, we're just looking for a kicker. Wesley will be our kicker. You know, we're just looking for a guy that can uh, kick it. Today we were supposed to kick the right, but kick it left, and our coverage be the wrong side. And that's the problem. You have, you have different kickers kicking off. But when we come back next week, Westman West will be 100%. We'll be ready to go. We'll be a lot better. We'll change the guys that will be on there today. We have a lot of backups even in the starting, starting role at the very beginning. So uh, yeah, it'll be a lot better next couple of games. You're expecting West to kick off next Yeah. Game. It'll be, it'll be fine. It'll be. Talk about where you feel like you are going. Yes, 7-3, we'd like to be a little bit better than that. You know, we can't control anything other than just 
trying to play better this week. We know, we know we're going into the Hornets Nest, Georgia. Is a, the team is playing to go to Atlanta, as we are, but they, they, I think they can control their destiny. If I'm not mistaken, I had to look at it, but I think they can pretty much control it or be close to control it. So we'll get their best shot. I don't know what they did today. They, earlier they were making a four four third. Not the four four third. But it's a, it'll be one of those cross-state battles. Our two big games at the end of the year, but our players are looking forward to it. It'll, it'll be a it'll be a, a, a great game. We're looking forward to. Talk about the Jordan Justin game. Probably won't make it home in time to see just a little bit of it. But I'll watch some games. I don't watch too many uh, big games. But I'll, I'm not going to watch the Arkansas South Carolina game tonight. That should be. Anything else? All right, next up, Keith Curtis.